the Land Raider Driver Furinatus be carrying Subticos Assault Squad, or at least what's left of them, Operation White Elephant had mixed results. Most of the Titans were pretty successful. The biggest one, however, was where the mix came in. It was a lot more warp tainted than we had initially thought. Only managed to damage the leg and at the cost of high casualties. Once Subticos and his battle brothers were safely inside, I had to drive around the Titan taking pot shots at its leg. Thankfully, the other Imperial Titan was giving it as good as it got. Bought us enough time to take out the leg and let it finally finish it off. We were pretty sure it was dead, but decided to confiscate all the least warp tainted parts. Just in case. Now we're driving back in to see what else needs cleaning up. And also pick up our auxiliaries. Honestly, I kind of forgot about them during the whole mess. Feel a little bad about it, actually. Be me. The man, the myth, the legend. Alpharius himself. Nah, I'm just kidding. Hakon Garrus, Operator Master of Alpha Legion Cell. Our cell operating on a previously unknown ice world in an attempt to turn it into an Alpha Legion recruiting world with enough forges to outfit a full company of space marines. Was going well enough. We had tactically inserted Slaneshia Nurglite cultists to soften up the population in order to find those strong enough to resist the temptation of chaos. Them always make good space marines for our cause. However, this did not go as planned. God damn it, Alpharius dot plan. See, this is exactly why we don't insert Zinchi cults anymore, Teroin. God fucking damn it. He always fucking finds a way to shit fuck up. Regardless, Imperial forces invaded, found a dormant Necron tomb, and decided to wake it fucking up. Which caused all kinds of shit according to my sources. Those being Tyranids, Space Marines, Imperial Guard, Titans, more Necrons, more Space Marines, Orcs, more Space Marines. At this current time, there are five other Alpha Legion cell operators from completely different cells on this fucking planet as I speak. Almost unheard of. Trying to coordinate is a nightmare. However, I have a pretty nice as fuck plan. Since the Blood Ravens aren't very well liked on this planet, we should manipulate the Blood Ravens into killing some very important Imperial in order to get some Inquisitors into the system. Have the Blood Ravens investigated for heresy, then recruit former Guardsmen into wearing Blood Ravens armor, since some agents have been spotted, a few Stormtroopers doing that already, and have them overtake the Ecclesiarchy under the guise of reclaiming relics. Splitting the Inquisitorial forces into two forces, with the Grey Knights held up in orbit interrogating Blood Ravens and Inquisitors dealing with Blood Ravens guard. After that, we activate the Inquisitor Sleeper Agent, who will then call heresy upon the Bishop and his retinue. Then the Blood Ravens guardsmen will change their allegiance to Korn and start sawing the fuck out of the Inquisitors, who will call double heresy, alerting the Grey Knights further, then activating our Blood Raven Sleeper Agent, who will plant Slaneshi artifacts in the hold of the Battle Barge in orbit right as the heresy on the planet surface goes off. This will all culminate into us making a statue of Roboot Gilliman himself, wearing his underwear on top of his head, forcing the Ultramarines to come here as well, who will witness the Blood Ravens being accused of heresy and will allow us to detonate a big smiley face on the planet. The ensuing argument will finally provide us with a large enough smokescreen to cover up our most important secret, the planet's ice cap to reveal our Gloriana class warship. According to Kaikaku, hidden in this planet's core since the Horus Heresy, allowing it to escape and find a more suitable planet for repairs. A perfect plan. Beef Esses. Just ran into commissars. Emperor damn it, that fucking asshole. Why the flying fuck did he have to shoot me when he was going to pardon us anyways? Fucking dick. Anyways, he was nice enough to tell us where Dakaris was. Thank the Emperor. 
If I'd had to spend any more time babysitting these fucking people, I'd go insane. Responsibility blows dot not worth it. Me running now at this point, don't even stop to shoot at Xenos slash heretics slash whatever's in front of us. Whatever doesn't go down in the first volley of shots gets stampeded and left for dead. No brakes on the guardsman train, dot toot toot. Get to hospital. Most of the tagalongs break off when we get there, either to see if their friends made it, or because they got shanghaied into guard duty. Push our way in. Find a Karis. Aside from a broken nose, he's looking pretty alright. Thank the Emperor. Everyone made it.